Hello, and welcome to the Ontario Guild of English Handbell Ringers 2022 Annual Meeting Virtual Concert. My name is Rob Cairns, and I am the President of Ogre. To those of you who just participated in our annual meeting, thank you and welcome. And for those who are viewing this online at a later date, we hope that you enjoy this performance. We have a number of groups lined up from around the province, so let's get started with our first performance. Directed by J.C. Coolin, Bronze Foundation Academy, or BFA, is Greater Toronto's newest community handbell choir, formed in September 2018. Lightly auditioned, BFA provides an intermediate level community handbell experience to a wide variety of ringers. BFA aims to provide an experience that combines development of ringing skills and local performance opportunities with a supportive and friendly community. BFA's ringers come from throughout the Greater Toronto Area, Burlington to Caledon to Oshawa and points in between, including Mississauga and Toronto. Processional in G by Patricia Hurlbutt is a bright, brisk composition that beautifully introduces bells and chimes for a special ceremonial occasion. Fanfares begin and end the piece, while a lyrical minor key middle section features a melody on hand chimes. Key movement from G major to B flat major heightens the intensity of the musical celebration. And now, here is Processional in G.
Peggy Ford has been a member of Bel Canto, Christ First United Church Mississauga, since its formation in 1995. She usually plays in the E flat six to F sharp six range, where her four in hand skills come in handy. Peggy has been interested in trying solo ringing for about 10 years, but never quite found the time it required, that is, until the pandemic. And suddenly there was not much else to do. And in addition, this church sanctuary was available for hours on end. Many thanks to collaborator pianist Glenda Roscat, also a member of Bel Canto, for helping to craft this piece. This arrangement of As the Deer Pants for Water by Christine Anderson and Kathy DeRoos uses phrasing that is different from what we are used to hearing in the sung version. It allows the sadness and the longing for spiritual comfort to emerge. The piano interlude with its triplet phrases makes one think of the stream running through the dappled light of the forest and the top notes of the bells are the slow, careful steps of the deer as it approaches. Janice Cowie and I'm chair of the 2023 festival It's About Time in Kingston. In 2002, Meg Leonard began ringing handbells under the direction of J.C. Coolin at Manor Road United Church in Toronto. 
From there, she went to Metropolitan United Church until moving out of Toronto in 2016. Earlier this year, she completed her third virtual online handbell course with JC Coolin, which was a wonderful experience for her. One more step along the world I go, arranged by Meg for Handbell Tree Solo, is a hymn composed by Sidney Carter in 1971. It illustrates life as a journey, calling upon God to be our companion and guide. It is one of Meg's favorite hymns. I'm Joan Bolam. I'm the chair of the Ogre Area Representatives Committee, and it's my pleasure to introduce the next music selection. The handbell program at Eden United Church in Mississauga was founded back in 1987, thanks to a memorial gift of a three octave set of Schomerick handbells. Over the years, additional handbells and hand chimes have been donated and purchased so they now have a four and a half octave set of bells and a three octave set of hand chimes. During their 35 years of ringing, Eden Bells Appeal, conducted by Bev Killen, has enjoyed ringing at Sunday services, at a variety of community events, and at the biennial Ogre Festivals. Conquering the Grave by Greg Lohman features two well-known Easter hymns, Crown Him with Many Crowns, and Christ is Alive. The strong chordal writing creates a full fest of sound, and the contrasting B section features the melody in the bass. Enjoy.
the secretary for Ogre. Barbara Neal has been ringing bells since 1995. She has played and directed several church handbell choirs and played with the Bronze Foundation, an auditioned community handbell choir. Currently, she plays with the Bronze Foundation Academy as well as 841 Sound Quartet and enjoys the challenge of duets and solos with handbells. When not ringing, she enjoys quilting, golfing, and visiting warm destinations. The text for It Is Well With My Soul is a remarkable expression of faith born of grief. The author, Horatio Spafford, an active Presbyterian layman who had just lost four daughters in a tragic shipwreck, wrote it while sailing to Paris to meet his wife, who had survived. The tune, Ville du Arve, written by Philip B. Bliss, was named for the ship that sank. This arrangement is by Christine D. Anderson for solo handbells with piano accompaniment, arranged by John Carter. Barb is accompanied on piano by J.C. Coolen, an active participant and leader in the Greater Toronto Area handbell community.
Hi, my name is Lisa Kiriakides. I'm the Vice President of OGRE, and I'm the Chair of the Programs Committee. The Maple Grove Handbell Choir was formed 36 years ago by Jan Badeau. They raised money for the new handbells in one week. The choir rings in church, at weddings and funerals, at special events, and of course, at OGRE Handbell Festivals. The group is about friendship first and ringing second. The quartet features four members of the choir, Gay Gamel, Robin Haley Gillen, Patty Wanless, and Jan Badeau. Isaiah 53 verses four through five is written by Kay Leland and based on the Bible passage with the same name. This passage tells of the power of God to carry away our sorrows and forgive our transgressions. This quartet, set in a minor key and a slow tempo, is beautiful in its use of LVs with a haunting melody. Enjoy. Hello, I am Dominic Moreau and I am Director at Large with Ogre, and today I would like to introduce you the Trinity Ringers. The Trinity Ringers Handbell Choir was formed in 1988 when three octaves of Schulmerich handbells were purchased by the Trinity United Church in Grimsby. In 2003, three octaves of Malmark Chimes were purchased through a generous donation by a church member. The choir plays monthly in worship services, plays concerts in the community, and has attended almost all of the Ogre festivals since the 1990s. The group is led by Kimberly Hammer. The arrangement of the tune Veni Emmanuel, very well known as the hymn O Come, O Come Emmanuel, is in G major and written for three to five octaves of handbells. It is a straightforward arrangement, which worked out well as the choir was playing from individual tables due to COVID restrictions. The recording was done in December 2020 in Trinity's original sanctuary, now called Memory Hall, where the acoustics are particularly beautiful.
My name is Kim Leach, the Communications Director and Webmaster for Ogre, and I'm delighted to introduce one of today's performers. Eleanor McDougall has been the director of Knots Bells of Praise since its inception in 1985 and began solo ringing a few years after that. She has also formed small ensemble ringing groups that perform regularly for worship at Knox Presbyterian Church in Meaford. Eleanor is passionate about ringing handbells and is always looking for ways to improve as a solo ringer and expand the repertoire and experiences of her fellow ringers. Holy, Holy, Holy is the traditional tune by J. B. Dykes as found in the Book of Praise of the Presbyterian Church and was arranged for solo handbells by Bill Ingram. It begins with a stately performance of the familiar melody followed by musical expression of solo bells used as accompaniment. Eleanor is accompanied on the piano by Shirley Reinders, who is a member of Knox Bells of Praise and an Ogre Area representative. Hello, we are coming to the end of our concert, but before we finish up, I would like to thank all of you for watching the Ontario Guild of English Handbell Ringers 2022 Annual Meeting Virtual Concert. And now, to our final performance. Ladamo Spells, under the direction of Richard Frank, is the handbell choir from First St. Andrew's United Church in London, Ontario. They have continued to rehearse and perform both in person and online this year, and have just finished their first recital since 2019. 
Joshua Fit the Battle of Jericho, arranged by Martha Lynn Thompson, tells the biblical story of how Joshua captured the city of Jericho when he ordered the Israelites to blow trumpets until the walls fell down. This arrangement contains lots of techniques and a full texture. The choir has added some extra techniques and rhythms to make this performance even more enjoyable. <laughs> 